going to show you some good painting tips. Number one. On paint by numbers like this picture, there are numbers on the cases of paint. There are also numbers on sections like this. There are also letters on the sections like this. And that means to mix colors, and this paper shows it. And you paint in the numbers and letters. Number two. On corners like this, you want to paint out like this. Number three. If you want to make a thin line, you can barely touch the paint brush down like this. If you see something like this, Oh, that's a problem. Hmm? You want to do it first because you can paint the section, because if you paint the sections around it, you won't know what to color the paint in the other section, what color to paint the other section. Five, even though a picture starts out white, if you add white paint, then it looks more realistic like this. Now I will paint a little. So here I am ready to paint. So I'm going, so first I've already done all the numbers so I'm going to move on to letters. Now I'm going to do letter C because I've already done letter A. It's right here. Which is 2 plus 3. So, so that means these two colors. You can see the 2 and the 3. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take a little bit of 2, put it right there, and I'm going to get some water on my brush. And I'm going to get a little 3. I'm going to put it in that. And from this over here, that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks like I need a little bit more too over here. So I'm going to get some water. I'm going to put a little bit more too. And this looks more like this. So now, I'm going to switch from this paintbrush to this paintbrush. And I'll get some paint. And come over here and paint in some C's. So like I said, on it, on corners like this, you want to go out, like this. And this. And 
Now it looks like I'm running out of color, so I'm going to get some more paint. And I'm going to do it some more. So now I finish that section and now I can go on to another. Gotta go out again, right about there. Now I'm running out of paint, so I might want to get some more paint. Then I'll look for another C, and I'll go right here. So you can see that I have to use that out wall a lot because there are on this painting there are a lot of sharp edges. So and it's easier like I've already said, it's easier to go out than in. So there's another C down here. Now I'm running out of paint, so I'll get some more again. And sometimes, if it looks like you've got a little bit too much over here on the pl plate, you can just wipe some on there, on the plate, and then you're good with just a little. So now I can do this C. So now I'm looking for another C. How about here? And those were my tips of how to paint by numbers. Thanks for watching.